welcome to our channel the montez sisters i'm kathy so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about my one week update on the keto diet um i went into this without even knowing much about the keto diet but i did just a little bit of research i watched some youtube videos and I decided that it was something that I wanted to try. So if you guys want to know about how it's so far, how did it go for my first week, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so for starters, I started the keto diet on Monday or Tuesday of last week. And it wasn't hard a lot of people were saying on their videos that they you know got the keto flu that you know they were getting headaches that they weren't feeling focused you know things like that i didn't go through much of that i didn't get the keto flu um i don't know if that had to do anything with the fact that you know i've done different diets before i've done the low carb diet before um without even knowing that it was considered keto i've done that before i've done juicing i've done you know many different diets and i don't know if that had anything to do with the me not getting the uh, keto flu but i did get like a little bit of a headache not really a headache like i just felt like like it was bothering me like right here but it wasn't necessarily like oh my god I have a headache um, and I do suffer from migraines so no I didn't get any of that um, I tried to keep my diet for the first week really simple like all I was doing was like eating eggs bacon avocado that would pretty much be my meals for the first couple of days um, I did intermittent fasting I fasted for let's see I would go to I would have dinner at about seven o'clock sometimes eight and I wouldn't eat again until the next day about 2 30 in the afternoon that's when I would break my fast um, usually I would um, I did the fasting like maybe on the third day of me doing the, the keto diet so basically on the first three days I would get up I would make my breakfast I would make myself some eggs whether it was scrambled boiled um, fried have some turkey bacon I would have some avocado and that's pretty much what my breakfast would consist of and then for lunch I would maybe have like a salmon vegetables I would have um, a chicken salad I would have you know anything like that um, like I said on the third day or so that's when I started intermittent fasting and when I will break my fast I'll have whatever I feel like having if I feel like having breakfast at that time then that's what I would have if I feel like having lunch at that time that's what I would have so whatever I was craving so like I said I would have grilled salmon um, with like broccoli peppers tomatoes avocado things like that obviously on the keto diet you cannot have corn you cannot have beans you cannot have any of that you can't have like carbs like you can't have quinoa you can't have rice you can't have bread you can't have pasta you can't have any of that um so basically keto if you guys didn't know is when you have um low carb like about maybe I believe it's like 50 grams a day of carbs and um, you have high fat and moderate protein so yeah so basically a lot of vegetables and it's vegetables you know like the, the leafy greens type of vegetables and um, yeah so my proteins like I said it would be chicken steak salmon eggs that kind of stuff now, as far as ketosis, I don't know how soon I had reached ketosis because I didn't test myself until like the fourth day. The fourth day was when I was able to get this like a ketosis urine strips. 
So you test your urine um, to see if you reach ketosis. I, on the fourth day when I tried it, I had reached ketosis. So basically, this has a scale right here. So I was on the fourth day, I was already here. So that's basically when your body starts burning fat for fuel instead of carbs. Um, so yes, yeah, so I had already reached that state. So obviously I was extremely happy. And yeah, because I, I knew that I had reached ketosis without having to go through the keto flu, through the headaches or anything like that. One thing I must say though, is that I did feel tired. I did feel like, you know, when I, I, like when I would get home, I would maybe start watching TV. I'll watch TV for about five minutes and I'll knock out. Like I was tired, like my body just needed to rest. As far as the weekends, on the weekends, I tried to indulge a little bit. So, you know, I had a cheeseburger for lunch. Obviously, no buttons. So I had like, you know, the beef patty, the cheese, the lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and that was it. Like, I didn't have the bun. Um, it was good. It was fine. Uh, I don't mind not having the bun. Um, obviously, no fries, none of that. And on, that would be, I believe, Friday. Then Saturday, I had a cheesesteak, a Philly cheesesteak. No bread. So I just told him, serve it to me on a platter. The steak, you know, the peppers, the cheese, all that stuff, but on a platter. So that's what I had. Um, as far as the alcohol goes, that's kind of difficult because I'm used to like on the weekends, you know, when I get together with friends, we'll have a beer or whatever, a couple beers. But obviously you cannot drink beer. I mean, I did see some um, articles where you can drink like light beers, like Coors Light, Bud Light and stuff like that, but in moderation because they do still have carbs, but low carbs. So I just avoided them altogether. So what I would drink um, is, well on that week, I had a uh, Bucanan. I had some Bucanan and I mixed it with those ice, um, those drinks, those, they're called ice and they're like sparkling flavored water or something like that. Yeah, so I mixed it with that. And those are low everything, low sh like zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories, zero everything. So that's what I mixed it with. And obviously um, the spirits, they don't have carbs. So, you know, there would be no um, like gin, vodka, rum, tequila, those whiskey, those don't have carbs from what I've seen. But either way, um, I did have maybe like two drinks of those two maybe three tops when you know before I used to go overboard but I did read that in ketosis um, or on the keto diet that when you drink the hangover is pretty bad that's what I read so I was not trying to reach that state so I drunk in, in moderation so you know I limited myself because I did not want to go through that. I didn't want to, I don't know how it would feel and I don't want to experience it. So yeah, so in a way that's good because you know, other times you would drink to the point where it's like, sometimes you don't even know when to stop. But with the keto, you're like there, you're limiting yourself, you're like controlling yourself. Um, so that was good. As far as like hunger, I don't feel hungry at all like I eat when I'm hungry which is usually like in the afternoon like once a day I'm hungry and I eat after that I'm not hungry I have to remember to eat dinner when I get home and if I'm not hungry like for instance last night I was not hungry I just made myself like two eggs like fried eggs and uh, like three pieces of turkey bacon and a, f a few pieces of avocado. That was my dinner. 
which was like breakfast style dinner, but that was my dip. Like I was not hungry. And yeah, so that's another thing. Like while you're on the keto diet, it might be hard the first two, three days. For me, not really, because like I said, I've done this before. Not the keto diet, but like, you know, I've juiced before and things like that. So I've gone without eating. Um, the juicing is more difficult because since you're just putting liquids in your body, I was feeling hungry. I was hungry, so I really had to like control myself. But um, with this, you don't feel hungry. You don't. And there's so many recipes out there um, that you could try. You don't have to really like limit yourself like that. Like, you know, they have the keto style um, pizza. They have keto style waffles and pancakes. They have keto style, um, like they have cauliflower rice. They have cauliflower um, mashed potatoes. Um, so yeah, so they have a lot of versions of the things that you normally like into their own version. They even, like, you can make your own style of, like, um, fried chicken and stuff like that. That's what I was looking at. Me, I haven't tried any of those recipes because I've been trying to just keep it simple. Because I feel like if I start making my, like, making it complicated and trying these recipes and stuff like that, I feel like I would screw up faster. And I'm trying to not screw up. I'm trying to lose the weight. I only have, let me see. I only have seven pounds left to go. That's it. I only want to lose seven more pounds. Um, from there, I just want to... Oh, by the way, I'm not working out. I have not been working out. And I do want to start because I do want to tone. Not just like slim down. I do want to tone. So I'm just trying to get myself ready, you know, to start working out. Um, the first week, I felt like I shouldn't because... You know, a lot of the things that I read is to take it easy on your first week. So that's what I did. This second week, it was more of just like me being lazy. That's why I didn't go. But I'm going to see if I could go for next week to the gym and start working out. So yeah, pretty much I like this diet. I like this diet. It's teaching me like self-control um, more than when I was on any other diet. Because on any other, di on any other diet, you could have a cheat day. On this diet, you cannot have a cheat day because I don't think that it's good to be going in and out of ketosis. Um, so yeah, so I don't cheat at all. Um, I indulge a little bit, like I said, when I had the cheeseburger and stuff like that, but that's allowed on keto, as long as you don't have the bread, as long as you don't have the fries on the side, as long as you don't have any of that. Is this something that I'm willing to continue? Probably. Um, I am gonna break my diet the Thanksgiving don't get it twisted because I am gonna be eating my moro de guandule I am gonna be eating my pernil I am gonna be eating my ensalada and all that other stuff so pretty much what I just said I'm gonna be eating my rice and peas I'm gonna be eating my um pork pork shoulder I am gonna be eating my salad that my mom makes and I'm learning how to make it so yeah I'm not doing this for Thanksgiving then after Thanksgiving I'll start it again and I'll continue it through Christmas on Christmas I'm breaking it again I'm indulging and then I'll probably start it again after New Year's because it makes no sense to just start it again for one week so yeah um, I would like to keep this as a lifestyle and not necessarily just like oh I'm dieting so you know that I would like to keep it as a lifestyle because to me it just feels healthy like you, you're more conscious of what you're eating what you're putting in your body you know so that's pretty much it there is um keto where people eat a lot of like you know like yeah you're supposed to consume a lot of fat but it should come from like healthy fats not bad fats because if you're not careful with what you're consuming you could end up putting on weight rather than losing you could end up you know affecting your cholesterol and things like that so yeah so I tried to get my fats from the good fats like avocado olive oil coconut oil like things like that um so yeah and I hope that by um 
watching this video you guys learned at least a little bit at least what I've learned uh, about the um, the keto diet you could lose a lot of weight you could you know it takes time and dedication and this is something that I could see myself sticking to not like the other diets where it's like I feel like oh I'm just tired of eating the same thing over and over again with this even though I am pretty much eating the same thing over and over again I'm not necessarily like tired of it like I just don't think about it I don't think about it because it's just simple it's easy but with everything else it's like I don't know like the other diets just haven't worked for me it worked for me in the sense that I would lose weight but then I would go back to my old habits and I would end up gaining the weight back so yeah if you guys have any questions you can leave it down in the comments below so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something from it I hope if you end up deciding that you want to try keto um try it let me know how it goes hit me up on my social media on instagram um yeah let me know how it goes and maybe we can do this together so until next time i'll see you guys soon and